This is your season of grace with your host, Patrick Henry Edet. Get ready for Grace Revolution. Oh, praise God. Welcome to your season of grace. Welcome to a special moment. A special moment with God because it is a special moment with the Word. You know what? The time of the Word is the time of God. And the time of God is the time of the Word. Why? Because in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. So when you have opportunity to be with the Word, that is the time of God. Another thing, the Word has a supernatural, natural, divine tendency to become flesh. For the Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. So the world has a natural tendency to becoming flesh in your sickness and becoming your health, becoming flesh in your situation, in your depression, and becoming your celebration. Welcome to your time with God. I'm Patrick Henry Eret. I'm your host. Let's welcome the ministry of the Holy Spirit as it leads us through the world into life. Exodus chapter 20 from verse 8 to 11. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work. Neither you nor your son or daughter nor your male or female servant nor your animals nor any foreigner residing in your towns. He said there shall be no work for foreigner for slave for servants for anybody you see nobody nobody at all nobody you know the revelation we took away from this is that even for a slave for a foreigner there is a day of deliverance and god impute god imputed injected god installed god installed the seventh day seventh day into create god could have ended at number six was number seven really necessary if god had the business of creating and he created everything the sixth day why wouldn't god stop there and travel back to heaven and say creation oh yeah after all adam and eve they are here male and female he created them in genesis chapter 1 from verse 26 27 28 down male and female he created them so why will god take another trouble of inaugurating another day god inaugurated another day to make one day responsible for the job responsible for the peace responsible for the wealth of all other days which means there is a day that is the code the secret code of unlocking oh glory to god glory to god glory to god there is a day that is the secret code of unlocking the potentials of other days you may labor in all other days if you miss that day you miss the joy the blessing that those days carry god says on a sabbath the ox and the ox here represents somebody with strength but the strength does not work for you the strength works for another person oh god of mercy look at this exodus chapter 23 verse 11 six days verse 12 exodus chapter 23 six days can we read it together six days you shall do your work and on the seventh day you shall rest that your ox and your donkey may rest and the son of your female servant and the stranger may be refreshed go to new king and niv that same scripture let's go again six days do your work but on the seventh day do no do not work so that your ox and your donkey may rest and they sleep born in your household and the alien as well may be refreshed now let's break it down the ox the donkey the son of a slave and the alien a stranger let's do a little bit of analysis 
an ox is a strong animal in the ancient near east in the middle east actually i was trying to read a book i talked about the area where we had this one of the wonders of the world the hanging garden of babylon that the inventors of the machine or whatever instrument that will be tied to an ox or oxen and then they will drag in the process of dragging this they hope they will be tilling their ground it was invented there so the ox is strong powerful but the, the ox does not work for itself so the ox here represents an individual whose might strength are used by another person and does not profit that person it could be intellectual might intellectual ability it could be physical ability it could be creative ability there are people in offices in establishments in companies in corporations in businesses that they are the oxen they are so strong they can drive the hole they can till the ground but at the end of it all they do is to eat barely a daily work a daily bread then what they have labored for with all their might their muscular might belongs to somebody who does nothing except to give direction these are people who work hard but their hard work are not justifiably rewarded these are oxen and god says there is a sabbath for an ox which means during sabbath the one whose might profits another person begins to rest now when we talk about rest please take the word and spread it out in rest when you rest in business it means you begin to prosper when you rest in studies you begin to see your grades when you rest in marriage you find fulfillment when you rest in ministry you see fruit so rest is not as innocent and small as r-e-s-t rest is peace rest is increase rest is result and so an ox can actually have rest on, re on sabbath that means the one with strength can actually also prosper from the work of the hand let's go to the donkey the donkey is a beast of burden the donkey comes from the the same family that the horse also comes from that tribe but the tribe and the donkey i mean the, the donkey and the horse though they come from the same tribe they are not the same thing the horse is used for power royalty beautiful sports elegance when a king wants to visit another king he does not go with a donkey except there are burdens to be carried but the king sits on the donk on a horse so the horse is extravagance it's royalty it's pomp pageantry it's honor it's glory it's wealth it's kingship that's the horse but the donkey is not a horse tell somebody the donkey is not a horse but they are from the same family now let's talk about the donkey the donkey carries heavy weights when a farmer has some produce to convey from the farm to the house it is not a horse it is not a horse that is looked for a horse is used for warfare warfare belongs to the extraordinary champions the horse is a champion so now let's talk about a donkey a donkey is somebody who comes from the same family with a horse but does not know glory does not know victory god there is no competition 
the only time the horse the donkey is relevant is when there are burdens heavy weights to be carried when it is celebration that will make people clap the horse goes he said we are visiting queen elizabeth the horse is needed from the same family and god says there is a sabbath Shh, did you hear something the horse is not even mentioned there which means god has a donkey in mind the one who carries burden and is not rewarded do you know have you ever thought of why jesus chose a donkey to ride upon into jerusalem have you ever thought about it the four gospels refer to this fact that that day that we call palm sunday just guy said send his disciples ahead to go you will see a particular donkey that has never been used untie and bring a donkey not a horse the messiah the people of israel were waiting for should have been a horse riding messiah as a sign of valor of power of fury against the roman empire he chose the donkey he said those i'm going to use to change this world are not extraordinary people they are ordinary people who will allow me to ride upon them and i will change their status Shh. do you know what jesus was doing he was granting a passport and a license of rest to the donkey family he said for the first time you can be used and people will clap for you that was the first time that a donkey will enter a place and this time around not just that people were applauding they brought their garments spread it on the floor yes honor those who had their royalty they brought when we talk about clothing clothing is beauty clothing is beauty clothing is royalty a king is shown by how he wears what he wears and how he dresses and so when people brought their clothes they brought their royalty it was the king they honored but it was the donkey that walked upon it by this just christ was inaugurating and unveiling what the father had put in the law and said let there be a sabbath so that a donkey can also rest and just guys say i'm coming into jerusalem to change history and story forever and to tear time into two before christ and after christ but then let me show you what will happen in the process a donkey will be applauded a donkey will be celebrated a donkey will be honored god said the donkey will have a rest and sabbath and jesus actually sat on a donkey to make manifest the rest Shh, don't worry it was not a physical donkey that you see as an animal i'm talking about the story of human beings who share the same community with others but they don't belong to the same class who sometimes may be more beautiful but they don't deserve attention they try everything nobody gives them attention just because they are donkey he said the father was a donkey the mother was a donkey so your own you are a donkey but then they share the same family with a the horse there is a rest for the donkey why am i so confident that the rest of the donkey will be enforced jesus christ wrote a donkey donkey mozin you know limousine like donkey mozin you know the very last means of transportation before he died was a donkey mozin and let me tell you the story of the long donkey because the donkey has never been used this particular donkey is a disadvantaged donkey it's a donkey that has not been tested it means each time the way and size and look at this donkey is not heavy it's not strong enough to even carry load there are some people all they want is just to carry the loot so that you give them something to eat i don't know if you, are, you understand what i'm talking about and if such people are not even carry, given loot to carry so it means 
you are eating for nothing again from god this is your own you are eating for nothing because you have not yet carried it you are not yet qualified to carry and so jesus wrote upon a disadvantage disadvantage so disadvantage raised to power too a donkey is already being a donkey is already enough disadvantage but the one that has never been tested and used not known because the donkey should be tested by ability to carry load but just said this one that has not been tested i will ride upon this one I'll ride upon this one let your situation of disadvantage work for your advantage yeah. that's true that is what i call grace glory to god i say glory to god exodus chapter 23 verse 12 six days do your work but on the seventh day do not work so that your ox now listen to this he said do your work then in the process of talking about it he's now talking about ox he's now talking about ox what is the next thing donkey what is the next thing slave born in your house what's the next thing foreigner which means when the scripture is addressing somebody is addressing somebody whose work is being done for the person by ox donkey slave and foreigner and so god is speaking this directly to those who who own slaves who own foreigners who own oxen who own donkeys and see that's why the easiest way to attract the wrath of god is to oppress the, the poor the easiest way for a family line to be extinct to face extinction is to walk against those who are voiceless those who are helpless those who have nobody to speak for them it is a dangerous thing and if you are a business person and you are in the business of cheating people please don't cheat but if your god will tell you to cheat watch whom you teach you cheat if you cheat somebody who has no means of livelihood you have put out your light in the middle of the night and you have installed darkness on your foundation and guess what darkness will roll over you because god is interested in those who live at the margin of life the fringe of life god is so interested in their situation he makes himself the helper of the widow and the defender of the orphans he appoints himself over the widow over the orphans is the god of the poor who told the people of israel don't oppress the foreigner for you were once foreigners yourself. and so this injunction of sabbath is actually addressed to the pharaohs of this world to principalities and powers to governors and rulers to witchcraft entity that's why i'm so sure that when i say let the fire of god burn the kingdom of satan that it actually burns because the kingdom of satan they are the principalities they are the kingdoms that makes human beings into oxen into donkeys into slaves and into foreigners and when we talk about the kingdom of hell they are not too far away they are in the heart of people just as just said the kingdom of god is within you the kingdom of hell is also within people who love to see others cry who love to see others shed tears when others shed tears they regain their confidence and god says do your work but on sabbath let them rest which means i permit you for a season but when the season is over have withdrawn license from you sabbath is ongoing right now as i speak to you in the name of jesus christ sabbath is happening in somebody's destiny 
whatever sabbath your destiny has been desperately yearning for yawning as in the sense of opening your mouth and yawning by the grace of god that is upon my life and has empowered me to speak on your behalf i speak that your sabbath is being enforced right now let the principal force that denies you of your sabbath rest fall let the principal entity that denies you of your rest fall let the system that deprives you of your sabbath let it fall in the name of jesus hallelujah i'm sure you know that the time of the world is the time of god which is why you need salvation you need a place in god salvation is the word it's not about which church you go to it's not about the name and the title you have it's about your place in god and it's about jesus will you just surrender to him and ask him of mercy and if you had always you had known him it's a time of rededication and consecration let me pray with you father in the name of jesus christ for somebody who right now is turning the heart to you in repentance in salvation to accept you as lord and savior in your christ i'm asking let there be a new birth of the holy spirit let there be a restoration let there be a revigoration let somebody walk back into the original as it was in the beginning in the name of jesus christ lord i ask for healing of spirit soul and body father i ask for the door of life to be opened for this one so there will be no no reason whatever for somebody to walk away from you having been surrounded by your love and mercy in the name of jesus christ amen hallelujah another point you can be a partner salvation is never completed and is never complete until you become an agent of salvation look at God, john's gospel chapter 4 the woman that just christ met at the well transitioned from being somebody in need of help in need of god to somebody who was the sharer of god he took god into the village and the Samaritans came out and met God and said, you know what? It's not just because you told us now we have sinned for ourselves. Will you be an agent of salvation? A partner, that's what I mean. It does not cost so much. The widow smite. No matter how little that you can release so that we can spread this salvation message everywhere. That will make you that Samaritan woman, a disciple and a partaker of the wealth and the blessing and the salvation of our God. Welcome. Please take all the information given to you on your screen. And if you're listening on radio, you, you can get the information equally. The announcer will come to you. Connect us. By the way, if you are in the neighborhood of Wii U, tune into uh, Planet FM 101.1 every Wednesday from 10 to 12 in the afternoon. is the AP Center of Grace. And if you are, if you are still around Wii U, Cross River, the, the neighborhood, you check us also on Comfort 95.1 FM every Tuesday from 11 to 12 we're talking about grace for purpose and grace and inspiration these are the times of god the lord bless you and keep you and may his light shine upon you may you uncover his countenance towards you and give you peace but his blessing do what you could not do in the name of jesus christ amen see you some other time bye bye this program is sponsored by the Covenant Friends and Partners of Grace Family Global Outreach. You can be part of this grace revolution by becoming a Covenant Partner today. Allow God to use you. Our account details are as follows. Bank, Zenith Bank. Account name, Grace Family Global Outreach. Account number, 101-42-978-63. For inquiries, please call 081-804-33225 or 090-738-38742. To all our covenant partners and friends, we say thank you. Like the widow of Zarephath, your oil will 
never run dry. To order for the books, messages, and other resource materials, please call or send an SMS to 080-660-46346 or 081-804-33225. Videos are also available on YouTube at www.youtube.com forward slash Grace Family Outreach. To stay connected, like us on Facebook at Grace Family Outreach or visit our website at www.gracecommission.org.